Hey peeps, welcome back to the best career in my channel here on YouTube. Today, back on FIFA 23 with Hugo Ortega in the most difficult month of football I have ever witnessed. Ladies and gentlemen, we kick off our home against Tottenham in the league. Then we go to Emirates Stadium, staying in London against Arsenal in the FA Cup round of 16. Then staying in London, we face off against West Ham away from home at the London Stadium. Then staying in London, we face off against Chelsea at home. And then to end off the episode, we go to Liverpool to face off against, well, Liverpool at Stamford, not Stamford, Anfield. Ladies and gentlemen, a tough, tough month of football for Hugo Ortega here today. Currently not on Forest are sitting eighth in the Premier League then. Uh, if we beat Tottenham, we're only three points off them. Currently uh, for sixth position in the league. We're only seven points off Arsenal, who are in fifth. It's been a pretty decent season so far uh, for Hugo Ortega and Nottingham Forest. He has had uh, 98. Oh, wow, he's going to have his 100th appearance in this episode. Ladies and gentlemen, leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy. And let's dive in. Ooh, we've been enjoying Hugo Ortega, the world's largest goalkeeper. It's been a fun series so far. Even though it's just like a summer mini series, as Theodore Dragon was like the main one, of course. It's been a really, really, really fun series playing the goal. I think goalkeeper like series late on in the year, you know, when you're ready for the new game or whatnot. Is, is is really fun. We love Dragomir, but Hugo Ortega has been so much fun playing in goal. And he's still never even played for Barcelona, his main home team yet. So that's still the exciting part. He's never played for Venezuela yet either. So there's still a lot of story left for Hugo Ortega in this series, which I think is incredible. Gibbs White, nice ball up. First time shot. A touch and then a shot, I should, uh, should say. But a good save by the goalkeeper. First chance comes for Nottingham Forest, the home team. Hurricane front and center. He's now out on the right hand side. We've got to watch out for him taking shots. That's for sure. He's going to be clinical. Andre Iron, nice ball up. Cuts inside to his left foot. Another chance. Golori still in goal. Another decent chance. Not a for so far. Two chances. Early doors in this match. Andre Ayu ball in. Decent cross, but a bit short. Head to the box now. Nice passing around into the box. Oh, what a chance. What a terrible shot, though. Hugo with another save. Gives white corner. That one goes deep, which looks good. We can't see what's happening. And the referee has pointed to the penalty spot. A chance to go 1-0 up in front. We know that we've not been happy with penalties recently. After last episode, of course, the penalty shootout in which we got knocked out of the Carabao Cup. But we make sure today we are scoring them. Our knee. Lovely penalty strike there. Gives white one more. Oh, crucial interception. Half time, we go into the break 1 0 up so far. A quiet day at the office for Hugo Ortega. Lovely summer's day for football. This looks like, oh, what a chance from kickoff. Oh my goodness, I was admiring the sun and the scenery. And what a goal from Mangala. The back heel, the one touch, passing touched, rounded up. That might be genuinely the best goal I've ever seen from the CPU. Listen, I'm all for a quiet day at the office, but I wouldn't mind saving at least one shot. You know, Hugo's been good at making saves recently. At least let them... To be fair, it's the spuds. They're absolutely terrible. So it makes sense that we've kept them quiet. My words right there. Nuno Santos in the box. Harry Kane, I did say. Don't let him shoot. Good block. Santos back in. Another good block. They get a corner. No, they don't. It's a goal kick. Oh, and it's a bad goal kick. It's a bad goal kick, but it comes back to the keeper. Let's just get that out. Let's stop faffing about. Harry Kane in some space. Surprise hasn't gone for goal. Tries to pass across. Another. Oh, we can't see what's happening. Jesus Christ, man. This camera angle does scare me sometimes when we can't see what's going on. Edge of the box is Hoiberg. Harry Kane out on the wing. We'll take him out there all day. And the Son Royale more. Nice pass and Harry Kane near post. Oh, my. I can't see. I can't see. We have the ball. Oh, my God. They've given a pen. They've given a pen. Oh, no. It's a, I don't know what's going on anymore. Let's dive in. Harry Kane near post. We knew he was getting near post. Bang. I mean, I was going to say comfortable save. Why is he parrying? It went through his hand. And he parried it behind him. Then the faff started. The defender just... Oh, the defender let us pick up, to be fair. And then... Okay, that was... The, okay, okay. I was very, very confused. Gibbs White... One on one. Oh, just got swiped from him as he was going to shoot. Oh, nice passing. Dennis, you shouldn't have gone one more there. You should have just shot. Oh, of course. I should have known it was coming. We have a clean sheet for 84 minutes. But guess what? 
they're gonna sub us off. A rainy FA Cup there at the Emirates Stadium, Sky Sports, it looks, it looks incredible. With the scoreboard, the TV logo and everything, the rain falling, it looks incredible from this car. Look how like massive the stadium looks, it's full, uh, filled out as well. Let's have a fun FA Cup day. Nice passing already, Gibbs White first chance is blocked. We couldn't get uh, to the finals. We couldn't win. Oh, nice layoff, Dennis. Oh, my God. I was going to say, we couldn't win the Carabao Cup, ladies and gentlemen. We got to, what, the semifinals, I think? Quarterfinals, something like that. And we could not win it. But guess what? We're still in the FA Cup. And we still have a chance to get a trophy with our lone club. Nottingham Forest are firing all cylinders today. Three goals in the first two matches. I mean, this is going to be a fantastic episode. Leave a thumbs up if you haven't already. Oh, another guard twisting. And turning, nice through ball. Oh, nice finish. Gabriel Jesus, maybe Hugo could have come out there. That was a very, very, very nice finish and a very high goal scoring affair here today. Or oh, Odegaard done fantastic. Odegaard done absolutely fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. This dribbling from the CPU is amazing. He laid it off. And again, Hugo came out a little bit. I think he should have just kept rushing out. Look, he stopped. He planted his feet, ready to make the save. I mean, even still, maybe... Oh, no, it was a fantastic finish. Side netting, it was a fantastic finish. But maybe should have rushed out a bit more. 1-1 after 18 minutes. Martinelli. Up to goal scorer, Jesus. Nice twisting and turning, Martin Odegaard. Again, Hugo is going to rush out that time. Luckily, he goes wide of the target. Another good chance by Arsenal. It's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a very, very tough game. I like it, though. Chances for both teams so far. Nice football by both teams. I'm loving what I'm seeing this episode. FA Cup top goal scorer. We were told at the beginning of this match. Still dribbling, needs some help. He finds Jesus back to Bukayo Saka. A good save. Hugo Ortega. Not a goal before half time. Surely. Oh, Gibbs White, you had half of the goal available, my friend. You had half of the goal available, and he went at the goalkeeper. I can't believe what I've just seen. So Erdegaard has been running the show back to Gabriel Jesus. Tried to pass it across. Hugo was a bit lackluster there. Party. Up to Jesus. Oh, my God. The defense just saved us. The defense just saved us. We were holding triangle trying to rush out. I don't know where Hugo was going. They get a corner from it. Hugo staying in his goal. Headed back out to Martinelli. Going to chuck it in the box now. Odegaard. Oh, it's two. Fantastic. I told you Odegaard's going to be a problem, man. I told you it's going to be a problem. Fantastic finish. Back out to Nelly. Into Xhaka, laid it off, Erdegaard. Oh, Hugo. I mean, it was a cross goal. There was nothing, realistically, we were going to do there. What a finish, man. I'm loving the gameplay mods today. It's a tough one here against Arsenal. And if we do lose here, there goes all hopes of a trophy out on loan. Oh, Andre, are you all of a sudden? I didn't know he had the ball. The camera was so I didn't know he had the ball. They've scored two great goals. Oh, what a ball, Jesus. Oh, rubbish. Absolutely. Again, should have held triangle. That's the game done, ladies and gentlemen. What a ball by Xhaka. Don't know where the defense was. We started holding left before he shot. And that's a, I did that. That was a preemptive dive is what we've done there. Hugo goes off. That was a preemptive dive. You can't do that. I, do, I haven't recorded Hugo in a while. So I've, I'm, out of, I'm out of practice with goalkeeping right now. But you can't do that. We're going to come off the bench against West Ham. We're going to see what these team highlights. I haven't done it as a goalkeeper. I don't like the team highlights. And I don't think we're going to, we're going to keep them. But I'm interested to see what they're about. Andre, are you? What, what is going on? West Ham solo. Okay. There's all bubbles on the pitch. What is this camera angle? What is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm controlling the whole team. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's supposed to be locked. Oh, he's conce oh, that's rubbish he's conceded. Get me out of here. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, rubbish. I just wanted to see what the, what the highlights thing was about, but never mind. Quick start here from not in a fault. Never mind. Oh, it's going to be a tough one. As if Arsenal weren't hard enough. Liverpool's always a tough one. With their gay compressed style and their attackers. Jota, they're spacing behind. Oh, my God. We've conceded. Already. This episode started so well. This episode started so well. I thought we'd do the difference here. We held triangle to rush out, ladies and gentlemen. We held triangle. I, I saw the pass coming a mile away. The CPU make amazing runs. Held triangle. I don't know what he was doing. Don't know what he was doing. 1 0. Oh, what is that for a pass? What is that for a pass? Diogo Jota, 1 on 1. Oh my god, he hits the post. We were nowhere near. 
Do we still have the ball? Yeah, we do. Get a little cross in potentially before we lose it. Just want to hoof it into the box. Someone have a go at goal. I can block. Hamble. Oh my god, it actually is Hamble. I don't know if it actually was Van Dijk. Hamble. Awanee. He scored one earlier in the episode. Plants it bottom bins. 1-1. One, one. We are back in this, ladies and gentlemen. We beat these in the Carabao Cup early in the season. We can beat Liverpool. Thiago. Jotter again. Back to Fabinho. Thiago now. Fabinho in some space, Hugo. At least he's making some saves. There's chance in this episode, but there's also some saves, ladies and gentlemen. Corner goes in. Corner is caught. Where are we going with it? Who wants it, boys? Hugo, ball up. Let's go. That Neuer roll. Starting the counter-attack, you know? This all came from Hugo. This all came... Yeah. I want Iyi. With some space. Trying to find Andre Ayu. He's not really a runner. He's old now. He's at like 50 years old. It was a fun year on loan. I'll tell you what. I think next match... We're going to end off this episode with the last match of the season. Now there's nothing left to fight for. We're going to get to the end of the season. End of our uh, loan spell. And end this episode with the end of our Nottingham Forest season on loan. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comments down below. Do you think Hugo is finally ready for Barcelona? Or do you want to have one more year out on loan at a different random league, ladies and gentlemen? Do you guys want to see more leagues? What are we feeling? Let me know in the comments down below what team you think or what team or league you think Hugo Ortega should perform at next season. While you're down there, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. Where is our defense? Look how much space the Liverpool attack is able to hold on to. It is astonishing the amount of space they have. Brent goes back to the goal scorer, Harvey Elliott. Another back heel, Thiago. One more for Curtis Jones. A shot is blocked. Blocked. Also, I called him Jones. Jotter again. Nice through ball, Hugo. That's how you do it. That's how you rush out. And don't concede a goal, ladies. That's what he should have been doing. Jotter again. In the box. Good, good, good tackle. Lovely clearance. Oh, lovely run. Oh, my God. Andre, are you in space? Gibbs White finds him. Oh, he's so slow. Back again. Antonio. So, oh, it's not even are you. It's Antonio, sorry. And Gibbs White has just absolutely bottled it. Our top goal scorer goes off. Oh, my God. It's actually not been a bad a bad year out on loan. We, 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 we've done well. Against some of the big teams. It's given Hugo a lot of confidence in front of goal as well. Um, that is for sure. Playing in the Premier League. Against the likes of Haaland and Jesus and Jota and whoever else. You know, It's given him a lot of uh, confidence. Making saves against all these bigger players. These bigger teams. It's been a lot of fun. I don't know what next season has in store for him. Whether or not he'll finally make his Barcelona debut or go out on loan again. We don't know currently. But I'm sure whatever it is. He's just going to look to further improve himself as a goalkeeper. And we are off. That's one thing I don't like. Is be oh my god, Mikel Antonio scored in the 87th minute. And uh, Nottingham Forest beat Liverpool. Wow. Uh, play team highlights as Ortega. I just want to see one. We're against City. It's not the last game of the season. But we'll make the episode a bit longer by doing some team highlights. Again, I don't really like this highlight feature. I think it's stupid. But I just want to see what it's like once. In goal. Right now. Oh, okay. Man City solo run. So does it just put him straight through? For Foden. Passes across. There's some space. Oh, he fake shot. Oh, my God. Hugo. Big save. And pass it. Bro, he done a fake shot, Alvarez. Look. He went to power shot. And he, he faked it. He went to power shot. And he, I've never seen them do that before. Then he shot again. We were there, though. He saved it with his gut. Because of the fake shot. Oh. Looks like he's chilling on a sunbed. Look at Pep's face on the, <laughs> on the flag. <laughs> what a save. And he held on. Counter attack for Manchester City. Erling Haaland, drop deep to pick it up, he's running, no one's going to him, oh my god, off the post, oh my goodness, I guess for quick highlights in goal, it's not bad, at least you get some little highlights here and there, I mean, I mean, we got plenty of highlights with mods anyway, but I think without mods, this might be the way to go in goal, because normally you don't get any good tackle there, they have a free kick here, I don't like how long it takes between each highlight though, they're so long with the, the, the stinger and then the countdown, it's such a waste of time. Just get into the next highlight already. Ball goes in. It's headed straight out. Especially when, look, look, nothing happened. And I have to wait. Oh, my God. They have a pen. Oh, my God. Hugo. 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 Ortega. Oh, what's happened there? Yes, I'm still not on the first. Thanks. Hugo. He's looking left. I mean, he's going right. Yo, oh, Hugo. They have another pen. They have, they have another penalty. 
What is this? He's looking left again. Oh, right. Sorry. He's looking right again. That means he's going left. Bro. What, what else do you want from us? What else do you Two penalty saves. Ladies and gentlemen. Are we going to get a highlight? Oh, are we going to get a goal maybe? I don't know. Haaland. Oh, lovely first touch. Lovely first touch. He's pushing on ball into the middle. Good defense. Haaland. Entering the box. I was diving the wrong way there. So, good block. That would have been a goal. Crossing opportunity. It just takes so long in between each highlight. It's cool, though. That's a way to get quick highlights. Quick um, goalkeeping chances. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're winning. If we beat Liverpool away and then Man City away, we won. Oh, my God. We won 2-0. Nottingham Forest. I don't want to say goodbye. Nottingham Forest. What a team it is. Well, if we want some quick highlights, I might just do some of those little team highlights and show you some of the highlights every now and then. It's awesome. Gentlemen, another season is in the books. Let's have a look. Not on first. Eighth in the league is not too shabby. It really, really isn't. So first season through Barcelona, we went on loan to Bas Basak Sehir to Turkey. So quarterfinals of that competition, preliminary round, blah, blah, blah. 48 appearances, 10 clean sheets. Then we went to Cuiaba. In Brazil, uh, 15 appearances, 7 wins, 3... Wait, no, didn't we start... At... No, we started at Cuiaba. Then we went out on loan to Basak Seher. Then Barcelona bought us. Then we came on loan to Nottingham Forest. 14 clean sheets in 48. Four clubs already, no trophies won. Team of the week won. Well, there we go. Oh, be like this, man. What a way to end off the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, Foxo Sports has just subscribed. Foxo Studio, sorry, has just subscribed to the channel. Make sure you do that as well. While you're down there, like the video and leave a comment down below what team you think Hugo Ortega should go to next season. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Howard Trevor, also known as Dreams Kid. Much of us always. Take care and peace. Oh, I never wanna stop.